Will insurance cover marijuana as a treatment for some medical conditions? Let's take a ride down the road of pot coverage. Step one on the path to a company like Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana covering any drug or treatment is approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The FDA is in place to protect the public's health. They're going to require a few important things before allowing travel on the medical marijuana highway. The FDA demands studies of lots of people to decide if a potential medicine is safe and useful. They are studying medical marijuana hard right now. At this point, there haven't been enough results. Also, consumers will need proper warnings about side effects. We know of at least one scary side effect, cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, when pot users feel sick and can't stop throwing up, and there could be more. And like most drugs, medical pot will also need child-proof packaging to keep it from falling into the wrong hands. However, the FDA recently approved a drug that uses the medicinal part of marijuana only. With the FDA behind it, it's much more likely that your doctor will write a prescription for this drug, your drugstore will fill it, and Blue Cross will cover it. Step two is making medical marijuana legal. It's a giant pothole. Today, the federal government still considers marijuana a Schedule I drug. Although Louisiana state lawmakers passed a law that says doctors can recommend medical marijuana for certain conditions, it remains against federal law for them to write a prescription. Step three is the money, and that part of the road is still under construction. Pharmacies dispense covered drugs to patients, get reimbursed by insurance companies, and deposit the money in banks. Pretty much every bank uses the FDIC, a government program to make sure you don't lose your money if your bank fails. Federal law prohibits these banks from taking money from the sale of marijuana, leaving growers and sellers with no place to legally deposit their money. Will Blue Cross cover medical marijuana? Well, you can see there are quite a lot of roadblocks on the way to us paying for a member's medicinal pot. Since it's our job to responsibly manage around six billion of our members' premium dollars each year to pay for the health care for 1.6 million people, we can't risk operating in such a gray area. It simply wouldn't be right for us to use our members' premium dollars to pay for some members to use a drug that isn't FDA approved and is still illegal at the federal level. Bottom line, we're not paying for marijuana as a covered health benefit at this point. Of course, we'll keep watching the situation, and if anything changes, I'll be the first to let you know. And that's the straight talk on medical marijuana.